Hey everybody, it's David again for Real Hardware Reviews. And if you're wondering what we have here today, it's the brand new Asus Tough Dash F15. Not only are we doing a video review today, but we're also giving away this laptop in partnership with Intel. So check out the end of the video for more details. This brand new Tough Dash F15 comes in a pretty slim chassis. It's compact and it's a lightweight 15 inch laptop just weighing over around two kilograms. Nonetheless, the laptop feels all right to the touch and fairly sturdy, even with the plastic main parts. Do note that the actual lid of the laptop is made out of metal. Its striking design and most importantly, the glimmerous tough logo on the display lid are clear indicators for its gaming heritage. My review unit spots a gum metal silver finish, and if you prefer a more minimal and softer outlook, then the Tough Dash F15 might not be for you. The side and top bezels are appreciably small, though the bottom one could be thinner. With such small bezels, Asus didn't make any accommodations for a webcam, though there is a dual microphone array for voice chats. Now looking at the keyboard, you'll notice that it's a more gamer-friendly font, and you'll also immediately notice that the contrast on the WASD keys, which have a transparent keys. Something that I immediately noticed when actually using this laptop, that it is a fingerprint magnet. Anywhere you touch on this thing, it will automatically smudge. So always be prepared to have a towel ready to clean it off at any time. You will also notice that there are actual vents at the north of the keyboard. And the trackpad is also decently sized and generally feels smooth to navigate on. As far as the I.O. ports, the left side hosts the port for charging the laptop along with an Ethernet jack. You'll also get an HDMI port a USB 3.2 port and also Thunderbolt 4, which is a USB Type-C. And on the right side, you'll also get two more USB ports. All the ports are closer to the laptop's lip and the charger is shaped like a right angle. The top screen checks all the boxes for competitive gaming, full HD native resolution, a 240Hz refresh rate, and also a rated 3 millisecond response time and adaptive sync technology to eliminate frame tearing. With the spec list of this laptop screen, it was amazing and optimal to play games on, though the only negative was the screen brightness. It wasn't as bright as I would like it to, and if they could improve on that, that would be greatly appreciated. Something that disappointed me was the speaker quality. They're a bit muffled and quiet, and it's always a pet peeve of mine when they put the latest and greatest hardware, but opt out on any quality speakers. The battery life on this laptop was actually a surprise. It comes with a 76 watt hour battery that gave me about 8 hours of typical use at 50% brightness. I could do a full day of use of web browsing and doing mundane office tasks as like watching videos and so forth. This is due in thanks to its dual GPUs which uses Intel's latest Iris graphics for everyday tasks and then flips over to the 3070 for gaming. And talking about gaming, you can expect around an hour, an hour and a half of battery life when playing your favorite titles. Overall, pretty decent for the battery life. Now let's jump into the performance benchmarks. On paper, the F15 has the specs to take on the very best gaming laptops. You get an Intel Core i7-1137H quad-core CPU, also Nvidia's newest RTX 37 mobile GPU, a 1TB SSD and 16 gigs of RAM, the new 11th gen Intel processor runs at 35 watts, has 4 CPU cores, 8 threads, and a clock speed of 4.8 GHz. We benchmarked the CPU with PC Mark 10 and got around 6000 points. Overall, ok numbers and nothing to write home about. We would like to see a 6 or 8 core CPU to future proof it a bit further. Especially today's games can actually utilize more than 4 cores, so having 6 or 8 cores would make sure that future games would run better and also smoother. Now talking about game performance, this laptop comes equipped with an RTX 3070 flat top GPU. It's fairly new, but don't expect it to behave the same as a fully fledged desktop GPU. The RTX 3070 GPU that's inside this laptop isn't operating at its peak performance capabilities, and that's what's causing the short gap between mobile and desktop performance, as well as comparing with other gaming laptops. Due to the F15 being a slim and light gaming laptop, the thermal and power limitation translates to lower FPS. Though when playing games, 
you're not going to be able to tell 100 FPS apart from 115 FPS. In testing, we launched Cyberpunk 2077 to test out the performance at max settings, and the game generally hovered around 35 to 40 FPS, and that's with high RTX settings with DLSS. Now when we tweak the performance a little bit, we're able to get around 50 FPS comfortably, and that's more than adequate to playable with RTX on. I booted up Warzone, and I actually maxed it out, and the game was around 80 to 90 FPS, even when you're in the most sweatiest of gunfight lobbies. I also ran 3D Mark Time Spy on this laptop, and I was able to squeak out around 7,369 points. That's pretty much a respectable number, especially considering this is a slim and light gaming laptop. To keep this slim and gaming laptop cool, Asus gave 5 copper heat pipes and dual 83 blade fans to help draw warmth away from the CPU and also the GPU. During normal day activities, the laptop was cool to the touch. When playing a game for about an hour or so, the temperature reached around 76 degrees on the GPU and the fans were noticeable and also hovering around 62 decibels when gaming. Now here comes my biggest complaint of the laptop, and it's the lack of a webcam. Especially in today's climate where video conferencing has become the norm. Though it's understandable why they did it due to its bezel size. Thankfully, you can always attach an external webcam to a laptop if you really need one. Having used the actual laptop for the last few weeks, it kind of grew on me and all in all, it isn't the best gaming notebook, but it gets a pass if you're looking for a laptop that offers a good balance between performance and portability. Yes, the 4-core Tiger Lake processor is a tough sell in 2021, but for its price and performance, it's more than adequate. Overall, the Tough Dash F15 is a great thin gaming laptop that can handle all your productivity tasks by day and also tackle all your gaming needs by night. Now this brings us to the end of the video and also to our giveaway. One lucky viewer will be able to win this exact laptop and all you have to do is enter our giveaway. More information on how to enter the giveaway is posted below in the video description and also visit our site www.realhardwarereviews.com to see more information about this. Also, a special thanks to Intel. Without them, this giveaway wouldn't be possible. As always, please remember to hit that like button for the good old YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and join us on our Discord channel for the latest tech trends. This is David from Real Hardware Reviews, signing out.